Another diminished, speaking of nobody else but me, another diminished that you have in that song. I mean, that's such a tricky song because it's got the enharmonic modulation and Jerome Kern is trying to trick us uh, like he does in All the Things You Are, like trick your ear to think you, you're in the same place or you didn't modulate and you did. So, but it, there's a part of the song where it goes... So you're basically, you're in the key of B for a second. We find ourselves in the key of B. Uh, in the middle of life, we find ourselves now. Um, so four chord, E major, F diminished, kind of B major over F sharp. So four, sharp four, one. And that happens a lot, right, in jazz tunes too. It's kind of, somehow it sounds sort of gospel-y to me, kind of plagal, kind of churchy, kind of, uh, you know, four-part choral hymn kind of thing, bluesy. Um, so sometimes you could play blues over that because it's four, sharp four, one, right? You have the same thing in rhythm changes. And a lot of tunes. Um, so what do I play there? Well, I can take a similar, similar approach, right? I can go E major. Think of that F's. F diminished as like B flat seven, five of three, going to one. Because three and one are really similar, right? The three chord and the one chord. If you look at the upper structure of like B major, if it's B major seven, there's a D sharp minor or an E flat minor in the upper extension, so. sound again and I find that you know when I have time when I have a whole measure on that second chord I can make it bluesy too I could kind of go go like B sort of major bluesy <laughs> for lack of to get me back to B from E major F on the F diminished but I do find like when I have more time again I'm playing like a B flat triad to get me back to B. Like I said, whereas in rhythm changes, I don't think you have much time. But I mean, you could go like, say, so playing. I feel like I want to go again like kind of bluesy you know B, if rhythm changes in B flat kind of on the E diminished and again sometimes I make it I go E flat E flat minor back to back to B flat rather than E flat E diminished but that comes up a lot right and, and there's a lot of tunes where you're wondering okay it goes four we're on the four are we gonna go four four minor one or are we gonna go four sharp four diminish one, like say, all of, all of me or something, if you're in C, you know, that part where it goes. You know, uh, F, is it F minor? Probably, but it could go F, F diminished, in which case you'd be going back to C, and you could go, oh, sorry. <laughs> On the, uh, if it's F sharp diminished, you could play, it's B7. Five of three, going back to one. So that's how I think of it, and I know I'm sure there's a lot of videos out here talking about uh, different things you can play on diminished chords, different ways to think of them functionally. Um, this is what I've come up with over the years to try to find a way, like I said, to when the diminished chord comes, so I don't have to panic, <laughs> arpeggiate, um, half old diminished lick. And again, panic's probably not a good idea. Arpeggiate and half old diminished lick is are, are good options, but I have this, you know, this third option I've been working on for years and years is how do I fit those chords into my plane? And it's really thinking of them functionally and basically, you know, converting them to dominant chords and, and something simpler than like the half old diminished is cool, but it always kind of sounds like it was cooked up in a laboratory, you know, by like a mad chemist 
sometime in like the late 19th century. Anyway, so another example of that flat three diminished because some students, you know, I, I make sure they all know body and soul, right? Sometimes these tunes slip through the cracks in the repertoire. So I, I always check with them, I was like, do you all know body and soul? So body and soul's got a lot going on, right? But so on the A section we have, ones and deep it's in D flat you got one four three flat three diminished E diminished and I know sometimes that becomes E minor for soloing purposes on Train's version Paul Desmond's version on Desmond Blue one of my favorite versions of that song but I think the original song is the melody has those notes so again so three F minor or you could even think of it as D flat over F then the diminished is five of three. The three just came from, but it goes down to two. So and you just have to, through force of will, make it go to uh, to two. And on the bridge of uh, body and soul, right? The same thing, up, up a half step, right? Down a half step. C major or C over E, uh, E flat diminished, D minor. So that E flat diminished is five of, of E minor. So I'm thinking like B7, maybe E harmonic minor, and making it go to D minor. Uh, you don't believe me? So here's some more examples. Corcovado. flat you know you could again you could play you could play some diminished stuff if you want there uh, diminished half whole diminished stuff but I like to think of it as uh, a harmonic minor still and just make it go to G minor how insensitive same thing in D minor and a lot of Tom Beam tunes right Zingaro does that there's a bunch and uh, so that's pretty, uh, those are some pretty common diminished. You got the one that, the functional one that goes where it's supposed to go, like this kind of thing. You got the one, three, flat three diminished, two, or one, flat three, two. Um, and different variations on that. And then uh, another one that uh, comes up a lot, and I think a good example is the song I Remember You, not the Skid Row song the jazz standard we have. Say if you're in F, you have F major and then like B minor, E7, but I think that that original chord there was more F major to F diminished or F major just to E7. And again, to me, that's like the one to one diminished back to one. It's like one, five of three, so on, on that spot, same way I would if it's you know with B minor seven, E seven, going to A minor, I would play. I play the same thing as if it as if it were going to A minor as when it goes back to F. get lost I think kind of does that too right a lot of the times I think the original diminished chord the one one diminished back to one got turned into a two five a tritone away so like you know and, and I remember you it's F major B minor B minor is a tritone away E7 and let's get lost maybe you have B flat E minor 7 A7 B flat again right but it's really kind of like B flat major B flat diminished B flat major to A7 flat 9, 5 of D minor, but resolving back to B flat. And like I said, the, third, the three chord and the one chord are so closely related that it's kind of the same thing. Stella by Starlight, B flat diminished to C minor. That's the flat three diminished. That's like a little variation because B flat diminished is the same as D flat diminished, right? Literally, the notes are the same, so it's
notes in the key of B flat. It really is like starting on the flat three, well, the one diminished, going to two. So you have that progression again. So, so far, uh, we've been talking about harmonic minor, five of three, but there's a couple uh, uh, tunes where this doesn't work <laughs> for me. And uh, these have taken me a while to kind of figure out and suss out. So like wave, talking about Tom Jobim. You got key of D, D major, B flat diminished, A minor, D7, G. So you might think, okay, hey, look, in the key of G, that looks like the flat three diminished going to two, five, one. But we're not in G, we're in D. for the right notes or the, the right notes the perfect notes for me so that I can say what I want to say I've kind of settled on yeah I could just play off of the kind of an A7 sound but I think like the other notes if I want to come up with it a jazz school kind of scale and I am in jazz school um, I am jazz school at this point I'm kind of thinking like D harmonic major sound right to me, y'all, honestly. And you know, the difference between D harmonic major and B harmonic minor is very, very min minuscule, you know. Um, y'all can figure out on your own what the difference is. Uh, but that just seems like the right sound to me. And another one song where the, uh, the harmonic minor thing, five of three, doesn't quite work is the nearness of you. So you're in F. And you know, when you're soloing, want that chord to be B flat minor so bad, right? Because <laughs> the song is F major, it just behaves so well up to that point. You got, it's not the pin, two, five, to four. And how many songs go four, four minor, and then to three or back to one, but not the nearest view. It goes, after it goes to four, it goes to four diminished. And I think there's kind of a clue in the melody, because it's like, To me, again, that's kind of like wave. It's the same thing where that B flat diminished, if you think of it, it could be D flat diminished. Again, you know, wave, D down a major third diminished, F down a major third diminished. So I'm thinking like uh, F harmonic major. Yo, and again, I could play like. I won't play all the notes like that, but if I'm looking for notes to go around the arpeggio that kind of sound right to me, that's kind of, those are the notes, F harmonic major. So anyway, I think that's uh, that's kind of enough. I feel like that covers most of the, the way diminished chords occur in standard tunes. You know, you got the diminished that goes 5-1 where it's supposed to go. And then you've got the uh, flat three diminished that goes to two. You've got the one diminished that goes back to one. Um, all the ones I talked about. And then like the nearness of you wave diminished that don't seem to fit into that category but are kind of more of a harmonic major sound. There's probably some other tunes out there that I'm not thinking of where that happens. But those are the two where for a while I thought I had this all figured out, but my, my tricks failed me on those two songs. So I had to come up with something else. And just one other thing, because I was, you know, when I'm on Instagram scrolling through, I get a lot of uh, jazz theory content, jazz guitar content, a lot of youth hockey content too. But the other thing I was thinking about was like this video I saw the other day where they talk about, you know, how a diminished chord, each diminished chord is related to four different dominants. So if we have, say we were playing, uh, 
nobody else but me again, and you have that C major going to C sharp diminished, and it goes to D minor. Well, what this video was, was talking about, which is true, so if I, if I look at this diminished chord here, I have C sharp, G, B flat, E, right? And because I'm a guitar player, I can't play it at a root position, but it's kind of cool to see. So if I lower this note, C sharp a half step, I have a C7. So it's another way to think about this chord is C7 flat 9 with the flat 9 in the bass. So that means C7 is 5 of F, so that chord can go to F major or F minor. If I lower this note, this G a half step, I have a second inversion of an F sharp 7. So that means that this chord, if I play F sharp in the bass, F sharp 7 flat 9, which means it could go to B or B minor. If I lower this note, there's the A7 we were talking about, right? So I can go to D minor as it does in the song. It could go to D major too. And then this last note, if I lower this, I have an E flat 7 in like third inversion. So it could go to A flat or A flat uh, minor. So he could have gone. from that chord. He could have gone to B major, B minor. He could have gone F major or F minor. So you could almost like play around with, all right, I want to write a song sort of nobody else but me-esque, but make the diminished chords go to different places. That's kind of what I did when I was writing the song uh, Check Up kind of based on Billy Strayhorn. Just make the, have some of the similar harmonies, but make the chords go to, to different places. So anyway, y'all, that's my, uh, my latest thoughts on, on diminished uh, and as they occur in nature, functional diminished. So I hope that was helpful.